So let's check out a utility called GTOP. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to cover a utility that I found that's super cool. It's a system monitoring dashboard, you know, mainly for the terminal and it looks pretty awesome. If you guys have used Linux, you probably heard of the top command and then there's another one which looks a whole lot better. It's called HTOP and that one's kind of redesigned top to make it look a little bit better and easier to use to see the system information that it shows you where there's another one out there called GTOP and I wanted to show it to you guys It's super dope you know especially the way this one actually looks it's actually written in JavaScript so you have to have Node.js installed on the system uh, but let's just hop over to the github page so I can show you guys this utility before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So uh, this is GTOP right here. As you can see, it's a system monitoring dashboard for the terminal. And when I show it to you, you guys are going to be, you know, surprised. It looks super cool. Uh, but they're currently on release 1.1.3. Uh, it was last updated in January. But I believe, you know, it's still being developed on if they need changes to this to it. But I think it works perfectly, you know, now I haven't seen any issues with it uh, unless they need to update something for like a newer version of or a newer distribution of Linux uh, for, you know, or a newer version of Node.js. Because like I said, it uses uh, JavaScript. It's written in JavaScript and they also have a Docker file. But check this out. This is super cool. Uh, and if. And I kind of want to show you guys H top right fast. So let me hop over to the terminal so you guys can see the difference. All right, cool. So uh, this is my terminal. I just wanted to show you guys top. So this is what top looks like. You know, as you can see, it's, you know, a little bit difficult to read. It's not in, you know, that good of a format in order to, for you to read everything. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, you know, just jumbled up. Well, let's go down and quit it and run HTOP. We all know HTOP. So if you've heard of top, you probably heard of HTOP. Well, it shows it kind of like in a graphical way a little bit. You know, it shows you all your cores and all that stuff. And now this is on my main system. So when I run GTOP on the virtual machine, uh, it'll look a little bit different because uh, I'm running on a virtual machine. I only gave it like two cores or something like that. Uh, and like eight gigabytes of memory and this is my main desktop uh, but as you can see you know this is <laughs> my system running this is using HTOP so let's go down and quit that and go back to the website but yeah as you can see it's more graphical uh, when you look at it and it also has you know a lot of information just like the normal H top you have your processes here uh, network history but let's go down and uh, hop over to the well let me read a little bit uh, just show you guys how to get it installed but like I said you needed uh, node.js uh, at least version 8 or above and this is the simple installation so uh, you can mainly install it on you know Ubuntu uh, today I'll install it on Orch I'll just use the AUR package just to get it installed but yeah you can they have installation instructions you know around I'll just show you guys how to get it on Orch but yeah it has the MIT license but let's hop over to the virtual machine right fast I'm rambling a little too much so we can get it installed okay cool so today I'll be using Endeavorous OS for the demonstration it's an orange based linux distribution i don't think i did a review on it but the first thing you want to do when installing any application is update the system and i'm sure this system is up to date because i was playing around with it a little bit before recording uh but yeah just type in your sudo password so sudo pacman dash syu uh and update your system as you can see it's fully up to date so it's not we need to do and this system this orch uh distro it actually comes with yay pre-installed in the operating system so 
uh like i said this package is in the aur and actually let me uh hop back over to the uh browser and pull up the orch package so as you can see yeah this is gtop that's the package name it's in the orch user repository so you can install it directly from there uh it's good to go now let's go down and install it right fast hopefully you guys can see it but all you have to do is type ea and then dash s and then the package name and it's gtop so let's press enter there it'll go through it'll install node.js for you uh it's even gonna install the um, latest and greatest version i think right now they're on version 19 uh, of node.js so get that installed and it will install gtop so it'll work right away um but yeah it'll install all the dependencies to get it installed as you can see that was super quick uh so let's go down and clear and run gtop and i'm gonna make the terminal big so you guys can you know check it out but g top that's how you have to do g top and that'll open it up for you and in that same super cool format now just to uh show you guys a few things uh in order to quit out of it it's just like top or h top you just hit the q button and that will actually stop the program so boom and then we can open it back up. I just wanted to show you guys how to quit out of it uh, so you can see, but it'll track as you have it open. As you can see, it kind of starts from fresh and it'll start tracking. You'll see it start, you know, going up on it and everything. And then down here is the processes, just like, you know, in HTOP or whatever. But, you know, there are some options for that. Let's say you want to sort by PID or process ID. So you can, you know, press P and that will sort by process ID and then also if you do cpu uh or c uh that'll sort by the cpu usage so just go down and hit that boom as you can see node is like the uh what's using most of the cpu as well as memory i'm sure but if you want to look at the memory or sort by memory then boom you can just hit memory and node as well it's still you know handling everything or taking up most of the you know memory on the system all right so that's all i wanted to show you guys with uh gtop it's super cool application uh i knew this video wasn't going to be that long uh, i just kind of wanted to show you guys this application how to get it installed uh like i said it's you know a whole lot better than using htop or at least gives you you know more of a graphical view of your system hardware and how everything is running on the operating system so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techie